Hello! So for today's look, I decided to do something very warm and smoky, and I paired it with this taupish brown lip. So if you want to see how I did this makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, I already primed my eyes using my NARS eyeshadow base. For my transition color, I'm going to be taking some Makeup Geek eyeshadows, and I think I'm going to um, go in with Peach Smoothie and maybe a little bit of Creme Brulee on just a really fluffy crease brush. Now I'm going to dip into Cocoa Bear and put that in my crease. Just on a slightly smaller crease brush. Now I'm going in with Bitten, which is just a darker, um, kind of like a burgundy shade. It has a little bit more purple in it. And I'm going to just take the same brush that I used Cocoa Bear with and put it in my crease as well. Just a little bit below Cocoa Bear. I think I'm going to put a little bit of Morocco in my crease just to add a little bit more of an orange color. This is super bright, so I don't want to use too much of it, but I just want to add a little bit more warmth. I'm going to take this Anastasia palette. It's called um, the Shadow Couture palette. I'm just going to take Fudge and put it right in the outer corner. For my lip color, I'm going to stick with this Anastasia palette and use this pink champagne color. It's definitely um, really super metallic and glittery, so I'm going to have to go in with a glitter glue first, if I can find it. I'm just going to take the Too Faced glitter glue and apply it directly on my eyelid. Okay, I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush. I might go back in with my finger to really press the eyeshadow, but first I'm just going to take this and spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus. And go in with pink champagne. It has a little bit of like a silver iridescence to it. Okay, I'm going to move on from the eyes now and do my face. Um, I'll finish them up later, but okay, so to prime, I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. For foundation, I'm going to use a foundation that I don't normally use. I only have it in my tannish shade, and I just applied fake tan, so um, I know a lot of people either really, really love this foundation or don't, and I don't have a strong preference either way, um, but I think it, I think it's nice. It's not one of my favorites, but it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I have it in the shade 6.5, and I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to apply that. I find that I can really judge whether I like a foundation or not at my palest shade. For some reason, when I'm more tanned, I'm not really too picky about my foundation, even though my face is obviously my natural skin tone. Um, when I'm covering it up with something so much darker, um, I don't know, I don't really pick up on a lot of the imperfections of a foundation, but if I'm at my palest shade, I can automatically like decide whether I like a foundation or not, so maybe that's why this one I'm a little, you know, whatever about. <laughs> I did just have to use four pumps though, and it's a very expensive foundation, so. Um, yeah. Add a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna be taking the Naked Skin Concealer in medium neutral and just putting that um, in a few areas on my face. I'm not gonna use this 
for my under eye just because it's not as brightening as I want. This is more closer to the foundation's color. I should also mention that I just got a ring light and a new background, but the ring light is amazing. I'm looking at myself in the monitor and it's like, I don't know, it makes everything look a little bit more, <laughs> just doing this with my hand, um, like PC, if that makes sense, but um, I really like it. Well, I'll see when I'm editing if I really, really like it, but. You can actually get a decently priced one on Amazon. For under eye concealer, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard, and this is going to highlight a little bit better than the Naked Skin would. Even though this isn't um, super, super pale, but... I'm running out of this. To set my under eye and the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Don't really use anything else for such purpose. For bronzer, I'm going to take the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. This stuff is super pigmented and is the darkest bronzer they have, so I'm not going to apply too much of it. Just slightly tapping my brush in it. Smells so good. Time to highlight my favorite part. What should I use? Wanna use champagne pop? Pizza. Pop pop. So let's use champagne pop. Becca highlighters are the most intense, beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous highlighters I have ever come across. Very pretty. I'm just going to quickly do my brows. Um, I'm just using a few eyeshadows um, to fill them in. finish my eyes, I'm going to um, take a pencil brush and Cocoa Bear and smudge that out. Now I'm going to go in with Bitten on a flat definer brush and putting that closer to the lash line. I'm going to take Champagne Pop to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Okay, for <laughs> highliner, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Drama and just put it in my waterline and then do lashes. I went ahead and applied lashes. I used these Ardell 105s. These aren't my favorite lashes, but they're the only ones that I own. Actually, I'm kind of a novice at fake lashes, so um, they're nice, but I've seen prettier on other people, so. Okay, for lips, I think I'm going to be using um, Sepia or Sepia from Anastasia. I was gonna use a nude, but why not switch it up with a taupe color? So to line my lips, I'm using Max Strip Down Lip Liner. Okay, now I'm going in with the liquid lip. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!